In ESA's planetary missions control room in Darmstadt, Germany, flight controllers have been working round the clock, checking systems and commissioning instruments on the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. Since arriving at Mars more than 18 months ago, this three and a half ton spacecraft has been gently brushing the atmosphere to gradually adjust its orbit. Now it's ready to begin its science mission. I'm looking forward to the next few months enormously because the TGO will uh, finally uh, be able to uh, show its full uh, capability, the full capability of its instruments in terms of uh, accuracy and the quantity and quality of data, pictures, spectra. Uh, and also because we will be able to do joint start, joint observations with our uh, previous spacecraft at Mars, Mars Express. Early images captured by the new orbiter's stereo camera show the capabilities of the spacecraft. The trace gas orbiter's primary mission is to identify gases in the Martian atmosphere, particularly methane. First hinted at by Mars Express and then by NASA's Curiosity rover. We know that the lifetime of methane is very short, just a few hundred years. It will be broken down by the sunlight, by the UV ultraviolet component of the sunlight. So if it is there now, we know that it has to be refilled all the time. And where does it come from? That's the big question. By using the orbiter's powerful spectrometer, scientists hope to discover whether the methane comes from a geological or biological source. 95% of methane on our own planet comes from living organisms. The ExoMars rover landing in 2021 will drill up to two metres beneath the surface to also search for evidence of life. And the rover, as well as NASA rovers and landers, will use the orbiter to keep in touch with Earth. The so-called relay function allows us to communicate with all landers and rovers on the surface of, of Mars. Uh, at the moment, there are only rovers and landers from uh, NASA, uh, Curiosity and Opportunity. Some tests had been done uh, already soon after arrival at Mars. And now we are going to start a campaign to calibrate and determine the best performance uh, to relay data. Mars exploration is an international endeavour, and every mission adds to our understanding of this alien world, a place that one day some of us might call home. Mars, of course, has this very special thing, is that, that you, there is actually a place that you can imagine yourself walking on. You, you, you eventually, within not too far in the time in the future, surely may, people will be walking on Mars. And that makes it very exciting. And then to think about this idea that there might have been some kind of life or even exist today underground uh, on Mars. That makes it a very special place. Mm -hmm.